Hi, and welcome to this little mini series about working with Hasura with the Vercel platform. Now, we've done some content around this integration in the past, how these two work together, but as of our release at HasuraCon 22, there's an official Vercel integration now that will allow us to connect Hasura Cloud with Vercel. And that will allow us to automatically import our GraphQL endpoint, our uh, admin secret, and other variables that will actually help make us ship software faster. In those uh, features we released at the conference, we also released our generally available or out of beta GitHub integration. Now, the reason why this is notable is that utilizing both of these, the Vercel integration with GitHub uh, and with our GitHub integration by itself, we're actually able to leverage CICD in an extremely elegant way for a very good developer experience. That means that we'll be sh shipping one folder and whenever we make changes to our project, we will be either updating our Vercel project, in this case, Next.js, and whenever we push metadata changes from our local version of Hasura, we will be pushing those changes to the Hasura Cloud Platform. And I wanted to walk through the step of just setting this up from scratch, completely from the beginning, so that you see how these pieces fit together. Now, the code itself is not something that you're going to really be following along with per se, as much as it is going to be the steps, because these are composable pieces, ideally designed for you to swap out whichever part of it you would want to yourself. They are rather simple to set up. They are rather simple to connect. And that is the part that I want you to take away from this tutorial is how easy or simple it is to actually be able to connect these pieces and get them running so that even if you wanted to swap out Next.js for a different framework, or if you wanted to swap out a different styling library, which we'll be adding on in later steps, those are all choices you can make because each of these are composable and they are not gonna be dependent upon any part of this configuration working. So to demonstrate, we're gonna break this up into a number of videos. The first video being setting up a local version of Hasura with metadata to track a very specific project that we wanna create. Now it is summertime here where I am at, and I want to create what I am calling the backyard pizza project. So let's have a look at our data model before we begin. And what we're gonna have is a very overly engineered pizza ordering system. When you have your friends over at your house, you are uh, on you are in control of the grill and you're baking the pizza for all your friends. What we want to do is actually create a way for them to be able to order the pizza. Over the next several videos, we'll be creating an overly engineered pizza management system for your own backyard pizza parties. Yes, highly contrived. Yes, very timely with summer right around the corner and something that I think will help us see some of the power of this platform start to emerge as we layer on features, but can still push, publish, and uh, changes in the process. In the next video, we will actually begin by creating a local version of Hasura. We will set up our project the way that we want. We'll be tracking the metadata of our changes, and then we will connect that with GitHub CI CD to deploy those changes in the cloud. And then we will connect that in the following video to a Vercel project that we will also have connected with GitHub CI CD so that we have both of these being triggered by GitHub Actions to make changes for us and put, publish those changes in a versioned way. We'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy.